Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the Access the Trader.com. Uh, nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is doing well. I feel like I haven't spoken to you guys uh, in a while. Uh, the last video was Wednesday. Uh, usually Thursday nights, I take off just to kind of clear my head so I could be uh, ready for Friday uh, for uh, for Friday session. Uh, this weekend, I was uh, I was gone Friday. Uh, I was gone Friday. I was in Fort Lauderdale. Uh, where they had incredible amounts of rain and, and clouds and flooding and all that stuff. My son had uh, an AU uh, tournament there. So it was kind of cool just to kind of break uh, the monogamy is of, of like, you know, just everyday life, getting away a little bit, even though crappy weather and my team and my son's team got absolutely destroyed in the tournament. Uh, I got to spend time with my best bud. And at the end of the day, that's all that matters. So win-win, uh, right? Win-win for me. So uh, hopefully you guys are doing well. Uh, if you are brand new to the channel, guys, uh, thank you very much for tuning in. Uh, we usually broadcast Monday through uh, Wednesday and again on uh, on the weekend. So thank you very much for joining in. If you could be so kind and click a like, it'll help the channel out, share, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And we will, uh, again, try to continue to give you day-to-day uh, -day unbiased uh, technical analysis. So again, as more things stay the same, as more things change and vice versa, uh, market continues to go higher, right? Uh, today, Dow up 188 points, uh, S&P up 41 points or seven tenths of a percent, and the NASDAQ up another uh, 1%, up 168 points. Uh, again, everything is just going uh, out of its mind. I, I, I keep on hearing this, and, and I, it's just nonsense, guys. I, you, you keep on hearing that three stocks, six stocks, five stocks are taking up the market. Folks, look around, right? Look around. It, it, even if you just look at today's pivots, stocks that have no business, literally no business of making big moves are making big moves. On what planet, right? On what planet is Marriott, right? Marriott putting up a $5 move. That's the whole point. This market is not being taken up by three, four, five stocks. It just feels that way, right? It really feels that way. You're getting a lot of really great value on a lot of names, a lot of sectors. Sure, the Dow Jones has been not great for the last couple of weeks, but again, there's just so many names out there that have nothing to do uh, with the Dow Jones. You know, just it, there's a lot of great setups, especially in the technology space. Uh, the one stock, that's not participating now, well, the last couple of days has been GameStop. You know, this whole GameStop saga, um, you know, the, uh, Kitty is, uh, you know, uh, Kitty uh, made some sales and, and Kitty exercised and this and that and the other thing, still likes the idea and all that good stuff. But it feels like GameStop lost a little bit of momentum uh, in the last couple of days. Got Things got very, very heavy. They had uh, uh, a shareholder meeting today. Don't, don't really think anything was said uh, that was absolutely, uh, you know, absolutely important. But yeah, you know, look at the names that are doing very, very well. Apple continues to shine. Um, Nvidia, my goodness, Nvidia goes crazy. SMCI, if you guys remember, big breakout off the 50-day moving average today it went right into the 920s again. Uh, we'll get to the pivots uh, in a second. But again, look at a name like Tesla, right? Look at a name like Tesla. We were talking about this. Uh, for the last couple of days. And I was like, look, you know, they, they had the vote, they, they approved Elon's package, but the stock really wasn't rallying. And then we talked about it in the webinar, well, wait a minute, why can't this thing maybe have a delayed reaction like Apple? Do you guys remember Apple had their WWDC event, they sold the stock off six, and then the next day they started this, just a tremendous, tremendous rally. And today we saw a break of a three-day sell uh, sell the news type of event on Elon's uh, Elon's package. It reclaimed today a couple of decent levels here, which is very, very good. And now this is the highest close in this whole formation outside of the January, February, March, April 29 highs. So it's, it's, it's looking very, very good. The only difference is today was 
you saw massive, I mean, massive, massive call buying coming in for the 190s weekly, the 195 weekly, the 200s coming along. Guys, here's the bottom line. You see the high here from two days ago, right? That was the Elon Musk uh, package, right? Package approval. If Tesla could get back above those highs, okay, those highs above this channel here, folks, we're going to see 199, which was the high from March the 29th. It's super important. So Tesla in the next day or so, hell, maybe even tomorrow, if it could get back above uh, this, you know, this area from two days ago, guys, we could legitimately see uh, 199 in the next couple of days. The options market is definitely uh, betting like it. Talk about a stock that was a runaway train that really hit measured potential today was SMCI. If you guys remember, they were coming for on last Wednesday. You guys remember on Wednesday, it was a massive pivot on Wednesday. And SMCI closed above the 50-day moving average the last couple of days. It defended the 50-day moving average, putting in uh, a double inside day, which is very, very bullish and continued to close above the 50-day. Today it woke up and, and all those call buyers that were coming in for the 900s, uh, 920s, they all got paid out. We saw uh, this morning 920 weeklies, which paid off. 950 weeklies that came in for 1.1 million. Very, very aggressive betting continues to go on SMCI. It traded perfectly into this 920s upper Bollinger Band. Is this the end of the move? Probably not. Okay, probably not. But uh, it does need now a couple of days worth of consolidation, maybe even a back test, uh, retesting back the 50-day moving average. But in the near future, if it could get back above uh, the Bollinger Band, the daily Bollinger Band, uh, this thing could really uh, wake up as well. But great move, an absolutely great move as well. Uh, but the key right now into this tape is, and I've been saying this for a long time, you can't focus on the names that are up, you know, 15, 20, 30, 40 dollars above their pivots. The, the hardest part about this market, and, and I tell you, this is definitely one of the coolest markets I, I've trained in, in, in probably ever, right? And probably forever outside of uh, the internet craze. But the, the special thing about this market is it's taking stocks that usually trade in a 50 cents dollar range and they're just really, really getting them aggressive. And the key is, you know, again, as much as we love the Microsofts of the world, but look at the chart on Microsoft. Microsoft's an airborne. NVIDIA is an airborne, right? Complete airborne. I mean, these are the stocks that you want to leave alone. You know, you want to buy these things at the dips. Look, look at Apple, right? Massive, massive moves. You, it, the, the biggest challenge that we have right now is looking for stocks that are just coming out of their channels. And I'll give you guys uh, a couple of names. Uh, and I'll give you guys a couple of names here uh, in a few minutes uh, that I am uh, watching but the most important part, guys, folks, and I say this all the time, don't try to outsmart the market. I, I, I see this every single day. Traders, well, the market can't go high. Why not? Right? Why not? Look, we all know. It's the, it's the worst kept secret ever. We all know the market eventually is going to, you know, give us a very healthy back test. And again, we, this is why we trade both sides of the market. But enjoy this, folks. Why are you so in a hurry for this market to end? And then when the market ends and when the rally ends, you know what happens with 90%, 95% of the traders? Well, cash is a position. You just wanted this whole rally to end. Now you're saying cash is a position. If, look, if you're trading both sides of the market, I get it, right? I get it. Yeah, the market's a little too long, uh, a little too long in the tooth. It's going crazy. It needs a dip. I, I get all that. But if you're a long bias trader, the last thing you should be talking about is, I hope we get a, you know, I hope we get a back test. And then you're, and next thing you're talking about is cash as a position. It doesn't work that way, guys. So enjoy this market. It's acting incredibly well. Is it possible it ends tomorrow? Everything's possible. Everything's on the table. But that's the point. You don't want to trade, keep on trading into strength the apples of the world because the first stock that always gets pulled is the stock that's in orbit. So leave NVIDIA alone, right? On dips, that's fine. But leave NVIDIA alone, leave Apple alone, leave Microsoft alone, leave SMCI alone. They already made their moves. Concentrate our names that are coming out of the channel. So let me give you guys some names that we'll get to tonight's pivots. We'll get to today's pivots. Let me give you guys some names for tomorrow. This is what I mean about stocks coming out of their channels, not in orbit. So obviously Tesla. Tesla is the one, you know, the one that hasn't gone on this magical carpet ride with pretty much every single tech stock. Is this finally the time that Tesla's going to wake up? 
Let's see, right? Let's see. Again, the call buying is there. The market sentiment is there. The chases are there. The euphoria is there. Everything is there. All it needs to do is get back above last week's highs, and then we go to the March highs of 199. Very, very strong chart. Look at PLTR, right? Here's my point. Here's a stock that's coming out of a range, right? Here's a stock that's coming out of a range. It's not up here. It's not up here. It's not up here, right? It's coming out of a range here. Watch this thing, okay? Keep an eye on this thing. If this thing gives you any type of weakness tomorrow because it broke out of today of a two-week channel, they came with the 27, they came with the $30 short-term expiration calls. Watch this PLTR. If this thing could start confirming today's channels, well, why can't this thing get, get back to the May highs? Why can't this thing go all the way back to the January, February, March highs? So these are the names you want to watch. Look at CLSK, right? Look at CLSK. Again, not the smoothest stock, but it's attempting to come out of the range. It's a safety net. Instead of chasing Apple up 17 days in a row, look at names that are coming off the channel. Look at Oracle. Oracle had good earnings, right? They had good earnings. It's consolidating. Watch Oracle tomorrow. Look how beautiful this chart is. If it could start confirming above the earnings highs, then you have the next leg up. Again, at least the stock is consolidating its move. It's not going up every single day. And look at a name, for example, like TTD, right? Another software name. Again, it's going sideways. Look at this long distribution here. It stopped today uh, at the Bollinger Band. If they could get back above the Bollinger Band tomorrow and the market continues to move higher, this thing can start going. You know, this thing can really, really start going. On the flip side, I always like to, you know, always like to be hedged. Like I started a position today on PATH, right? Started a position today on PATH. This is the lowest close in this whole formation. When I mean, when I mean starting the position, I mean to the short side. Right? This is the first close below the earnings low. I love these earnings lows plays because those are the names once they start losing their earnings lows. And this is going to be a very slow, methodical, boring trade. It's not for you. It's probably going to sit in a five, 10 cent range for a month. But hey, this is good for me. Again, you don't have to watch it tick by tick. This is now the lowest close of the whole formation. If this thing starts taking out today's channel, maybe this thing gets hit. It's like Neo, right? Neo. Neo, I, I've been in this Neo. Since when? Since uh, 610, right? Since June the 10th. Okay, not a long time, but a week, right? Neo broke, it's the same thing. Neo broke uh, below its earnings lows and it's just kind of moving lower. This thing is, you know, at, at some point, I'm, I'm down to 60% of my position, but the point is this thing already came in 10%. These are the slow methodical moves. And once they start confirming earnings lows, just the same way we're looking at Oracle to confirm earnings highs, they start moving in that direction. So again, Always be prepared on both sides of the market. Don't predict what's going to happen. Don't try to get cute. Don't try to outsmart the market. Take it day by day, trade by trade. Let me give you guys uh, some pivots from today. Really good move. Really, really good session here. So this is the first thing I said pre-market today. I said good inside day Friday, right? Basically rested the 50-day move. Should go today or tomorrow, right? Good morning. Yeah, that was an understatement. We'll get to that in a second. Letter Z, I'm still watching. Hasn't gone close. DXCM, I was watching to the downside. Nope. TTD, 9810 needs to build. Only went up a dollar again. Like I said, I still like TTD. Let's watch this thing in the next couple of days. And guys, look, that's my point. Inside day should go today or tomorrow on SMCI. Again, understatement. 872 and 883.17 needs to build. Definitely the move of the day. Congratulations, guys. Huge move. This thing went all the way uh, to 920s. Just a phenomenal, phenomenal move on SMCI. Crowd gave a nice move. Again, you got to look for the stocks that are coming out of a tight distribution. Crowd 397 needs to build. Here was crowd, right? So I got the 390.70, traded up to almost 395, still looks higher. The highest close in this whole formation looks really, really uh, good. Uh, Marriott, again, this is my point. There's two points I want to make here. Number one, they're, they're taking up stocks that should never, never be trading up three, four, five points in the day. And the second thing that we always talk about is, right, the 50-day confirmation. Well, here's Marriott of all things, 241 needs to confirm the 50 day and look at Marriott, right? Here is the 50 day moving average that it got above two days ago. It confirmed and it went from 241 all the way to 245, which is the highest close in this whole formation. And it looks like it wants to go higher. And I believe that's it. I think that's the only thing we, I think, right? Oh, path, right? Any close 
uh, any close below 1149, which it did. That's exactly against a slow mover, but uh, it's a very, very good move. And uh, CRM, you know, gave a dollar fifty move, right? Almost, almost two dollar move. Uh, two twenty eight sixty five bills below can flush again. Went down almost a couple of bucks. That wasn't a bad move there. And this is it, right? This was it, guys. Get down to a tiny runner. Nice move, you know. Eight seventy two, eight eighty three. You know, eight ninety one, eight ninety two was the first supply, and then it went all the way to nine twenty. So that's it, guys. Hope everybody is doing well. I'm glad to be back. I'm rested. I am um, happy. Happy to be alive, happy to have a great family, happy to be healthy, and happy to be with you guys on a daily basis. Guys, God bless, and with God's help, I'll see you all tomorrow.